Hi, my name is Whitney Battle Baptiste. I am the director of the W.E.B. Du Bois Center at UMass Amherst. The W.E.B. Du Bois Center at UMass Amherst started in 2009. So 2019 marks the 10th year since we've been a vibrant and living entity in the library and on campus. We began as a group of scholars and community members from Great Barrington and UMass Amherst's campus who believed in promoting and accentuating the knowledge of who W.E.B. Du Bois was, his relationship to the state of Massachusetts, and in many ways creating a space in which Du Bois would be remembered. My name is Adam Holmes. I'm the program manager for the W.E.B. Du Bois Centre. I see the work of the Du Bois Centre as having multiple strands, one of which is of course to use the very generous endowment that we have from the Andrew W. Mellon Foundation to encourage really important scholarship that's being done in the Du Bois archive as we speak. People are discovering new sides to this man who wrote so many millions of words that it's impossible really to comprehend at all. What's wonderful about the Du Bois Centre is that it allows a true interdisciplinary approach. We have at the Du Bois Centre the W.E.B. Du Bois Postdoctoral Fellowship. This is an amazing opportunity for scholars who are looking for a nice period of time, six weeks in the summer, to come and live in Amherst and be in the archives five days a week. And that's exactly what our postdocs take full advantage of. The Du Bois Center actually helps to facilitate creating a cohort of these postdocs. The W.B. Du Bois Graduate Fellowship is actually open to uh, graduate students across the five colleges. This has been an amazing opportunity for graduate students to interact with our postdocs who are here, as well as be here throughout the year and participate in our W.E.B. Du Bois seminar series that meets once a month here in the Du Bois Center. What this does is takes the scholars who have been here over the summer and brings them back so that each of these postdocs can give a public talk to our university community, our five college community, as well as our local constituents who are interested in all things Du Bois and things beyond Du Bois, such as civil rights, contemporary issues of race and racism, classism, all of the things that many of our postdoctoral scholars have been engaged in over the last three to five years. To me, the Du Bois Center has been basically like a scratching post or something like that for that interdisciplinary itch that I kind of came here with, and an incredibly rewarding one because there's probably no better figure for the value of the interdisciplinarity than Du Bois. His work and what's, what started the archive here has drawn a, a sort of remarkable range of scholars. For me, it's kind of an academic family, I think. I could share my opinions and also learn from the other peoples who have the same kind of interest on Du Bois, so I'm full of expectations about the upcoming lectures and seminars. When I became a Du Bois, a du Bois Fellows, we had this uh, during the summer, a lot of meetings with the professors and the students that, are, that were producing works on Du Bois. A lot of things that one person is working comes to help another person and the exchange was it's good because it allowed us like to understand the different parts of the boys that help to build the whole and help to uh, make our research go further. We also believe it's really important to allow people to see that the work of Du Bois is for everyone, not just for scholars, not just for academics. One of the ways that we like to engage people is around Du Bois's birthday, organising fantastic events on campus, one of which this year was the first of our annual lectures and dinners which we held at the Old Chapel on February the 13th. Francoise Hamlin from Brown University came to speak to us at what was a fantastic event attended by members of the community in Great Barrington, by Du Bois Fellows, by affiliated faculty and our friends both on and off campus. One regular feature that I'm particularly fond of at the Du Bois Centre has been our Breakfast with Du Bois series which has run every Monday since January 2019 
It is attended by a group of different individuals from across multiple disciplines. We have graduate students, we have faculty members, but we also have members of the community who come in, enjoy a cup of coffee and a bagel and chat about a particular Du Bois piece that we read together each week. It's a wonderful way to celebrate Du Bois's multitude of different writings and also to come together to discuss both the issues of Du Bois's day and those of our own. On a more informal note, we like to celebrate Du Bois's birthday by giving away pieces of birthday cake every year in the library lobby. Uh, we have a fantastic catering service at UMass Amherst and we like to take advantage of that uh, by offering up sweet morsels for our student body. Along with the cake, we also like to give away copies of Du Bois's masterpiece, The Souls of Black Folk, written in 1903. We are here to show that this is a crucial American figure, a son of Massachusetts who needs to be heralded and understood by all in our community.